Hello there, I am Tommy Taco, and welcome back to my Home Run Derby series. This will be the fourth tournament played where the winner will qualify for the Fab Four tournament in New York City. Here is the lineup we have for today. The one seed is Pete Alonzo. The two seed is Mike Trout, followed by the third seed, J.D. Martinez. The number four seed is Christian Yelich. He'll be facing the five seed, Gary Sanchez. The six seed is Nolan Arenado. The seven seed is Cody Bellinger of the Dodgers. And the eighth seed is Ronald Acuna Jr. of the Atlanta Braves. This home run derby will be played at Coors Field in Colorado. One minute round times. I'll be batting with all eight participants. Trying to hit as many home runs as I can. As you can see, they are ranked in order of their overall power rating to the right, with Alonzo having a 99 for power. And it ranges from 99 to Ronald Acuna Jr.'s 83. Yelich and Bellinger are left-handed batters. And here we see the participants on the field in a bright, sunshiny day here in Colorado. Here are the participants one last time. This is a combination of the National League and American League All-Stars, the best power hitters for the rights to go to New York City. Here are the rules. Not much has changed. We'll be using the same format for all of the tournaments. <coughs> and let's get ready to get this home run derby started. Now that the rules are clear, <coughs> it's time for the Home Run Derby. Now hitting, representing the Atlanta Braves, number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. Here we go. See you later. Into the bleacher. Then go all the way up to the concourse. It's out of here. Into the visitor's bullpen. 30 seconds left. See you later. That one's in the bullpen. the round with a total of six home runs and I'll have to hope that's enough to advance and now the challenger representing the New York Mets Pete Alonzo
that go all the way out to the card court. 30 seconds left. No doubt about that one. He takes on the bleacher section. That one out of here. Off the barbecue stand. Smoking. It's out of here. Heads up, bleachers. So we have our first tie of the day. Pete Alonzo comes back to tie up Ronald Acuna Jr. Now we'll go into extras. Here are the rules. And here we go, Acuna Jr. vs. Alonzo in this first tiebreaker of the tournament. Hitting first in the tiebreaker from the Atlanta Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. And there we go, picks it up, Lucher Seals. That goal, all the way out to the concourse. That's three in a row now. 30 seconds left. To the bleacher. That's a home run. His fifth in the round. Time's up. That will do it. He finishes with five home runs. And he will have to wait to see if that's enough. Now hitting in the tiebreaker from the New York Mets, number 20, Pete Alonzo. The 60-second tiebreaker has begun. That goal all the way out to the concourse. Seconds left. It's out of here. Heads up, bleachers. Another home run. That ends the round. He finishes with a total of four home runs. And that won't be enough to advance. Unfortunately, he has been eliminated. So the eighth seed, Ronald Acuna Jr., upsets the number one seed, Pete Alonzo. Pete hitting a couple of mammoth shots. Uh, had two home runs over 490 and one over 500, but it wasn't enough as Acuna Jr. picks up the victory. 
The next pairing is the four seed Christian Yelich versus the five, five seed Gary Sanchez of the New York Yankees. He hit 34 home runs last year for the Bronx Bombers. As far as Yelich, he has won an MVP with the Brewers, and he had 44 home runs last year for the Milwaukee Brewers. Let's see who can win this exciting contest. Hitting first, representing the New York Yankees, number 24, Gary Sanchez. The clock is now running. And the round has begun. Then, go all the way out to the concourse. Thirty seconds left. Goodbye. He takes on the bleacher section. And there it goes into the bleacher seats. His third consecutive home run. the round with a total of six home runs and he will have to wait to see if that holds up hitting second the challenger representing the Milwaukee Brewers Christian Yellen the clock is now running and the round has begun That one out of here. Up onto the rooftop area. There's a home run. That's gone into the bullpen. 30 seconds left. the semi-final matchup. So Christian Yelich, the sweet swinging lefty from the Brewers, defeats Gary Sanchez here in the first round of the tournament today at Coors Field. Some majestic blasts off the bat of Yelich. And the next matchup is J.D. Martinez of the Boston Red Sox, who hit 36 home runs for the Red Sox last year. And he will be facing the hometown hero, Nolan Arenado of the Colorado Rockies, who hit 41 home runs last year right here for the Rockies. So let's take it to the field and see who can advance on to face the winner of Mike Trout and Cody Bellinger. 
coming up next. Up first in this head-to-head -head matchup, representing the Colorado Rockies, number 28, Nolan Aranado. The clock is running, and the round is begun. No question about that one. Seconds left. See you later. Into the bleacher. Then go all the way out to the concourse. It's out of here. Heads up, bleachers. Takes on the bleacher section. There's number seven. That's three in a row now. Time's up. That will do it. He finishes with eight home runs. And I'll have to hope that's enough to advance. Up to the plate, the challenger represent the Boston Red Sox, number 28, J.D. Martinez. Here we go. ends the round with seven home runs. That's not quite enough. He's been eliminated from the competition. So the hometown favorite, Nolan Arenado, outlasts J.D. Martinez. Both right-handed power hitters putting on a long distance display. As you can see here, some mammoth shots off both of their bats. That'll bring us to our next contest, which is two uh, exciting players that both play in the great state of California. 
we have Cody Bellinger of the Los Angeles Dodgers who hit 47 home runs for the Dodgers last year against the best player in baseball right now in my humble opinion Mike Trout of the Anaheim Angels he had 45 home runs and actually missed the last month of the season so I'm fairly confident in saying he would have hit over 50 but let's take it to the field and see who wins this exciting matchup for the right to face Nolan Arenado let's take it to the field now hitting representing the Los Angeles Dodgers number 35 Cody Bellinger the clock has officially started gone that's his first home run Another home run. See you later. All the way to the upper deck. 30 seconds left. Goodbye. Look out, upper deck. to the second deck. That one out of here. Up onto the rooftop area. Another home run. Here and into the second deck. Four in a row now. And that ends the round. He finishes with a total of nine home runs. And he will have to wait to see if that's enough. And now, the challenger representing the Los Angeles Angels. Number 27, Mike Crowd. The clock is now running. And that one's out of here to the deepest part of the ballpark. See you later. Into the bleacher. Court. 30 seconds left. That one's out of here. Off the barbecue stand. Smoking. Takes on the bleacher section. No question about that one. A hat trick. Three in a row. That's number four in a row. will do it. He finishes with eight home runs. And that won't be enough to advance. Unfortunately, he has been eliminated. So the seven seed, Cody Bellinger, he upsets the number two seed, Mike Trout, to face Nolan Arenado in the second round. 
But the first game of the second round here will be none other than the eight seed Ronald Acuna Jr. versus the lefty Christian Yelich. And here we go. Up first in this semifinal matchup, Ronald Acuna Jr. The clock is now running, and the round has begun. Six consecutive home runs. Make it seven in a row now. And no time remaining. That will do it. He finishes with a total of nine home runs. And he will have to wait to see if that holds up. Now hitting the challenger in this semifinal matchup, Christian Yellen. The clock is running, and the round is begun. the rooftop area. And that one gone into the second deck. It's out of here. Into the upper deck. to the upper deck. enough. He's been eliminated from the competition. So Ronald Acuna Jr. with a decisive three home run victory over Christian Yelich to put him in the finals of this bracket of the tournament. There have been 500 foot bombs all over the place here in Colorado. They must have not put the baseballs in the humidor today. That'll bring us to our next round, or our next contest, rather, which we'll see the hometown hero of the Colorado Rockies, Nolan Arenado, versus the lefty Cody Bellinger. Coming up, 
next. Up first in this semifinal matchup, number 35, Cody Bellinger. The clock is now running, and the round has begun. That one out of here, up onto the rooftop area. And there it goes, into the bleacher seats. Goodbye, that's into the bullpen. 30 seconds left. Four in a row now. That one's in the bullpen. And that one's gone. Into the second deck. to hope that's enough to advance. Now hitting the challenger in this semifinal matchup. Number 28, Nolan Aranado. Let's see what he can do. That one's out of here. Up the barbecue stand. Smoking. 30 seconds left. Oh, that's a monster home run. Bleachers. That's a home run. His fifth in the round. To the bleachers. Another home run. And no time remaining. That will do it. He ends the round with seven home runs. And that won't be enough to advance. Unfortunately, he has been eliminated. So Aaron Otto runs out of gas as Cody Bellinger picks up the 9-7 victory to catapult him into the finals against the Atlanta Braves, Ronald Lacuna Jr. The winner of this next round will be the champion and will be the fourth qualifier for the tournament. Let's see who gets the job done. Hitting first in this championship round, Ronald Acuna Jr. The clock has officially started.
that. Go all the way out to the concourse. And there it goes into the bleacher seat. That one out of here. Off the barbecue stand. Smoking. to the football. No doubt about that one. And that one gone off the yogurt stand. finishes with a total of nine home runs and he will have to wait to see if that's enough and now the challenger in this championship round number 35 Cody Bellinger let's see what he can do That's his first home run. It's out of here. Into the upper deck. Thirty seconds left. See you later. All the way to the upper deck. Ladies and gentlemen, your home run derby champion, Cody Bellinger. So Cody Bellinger getting the jab done, hitting a 490 foot, 94 foot home run on the last pitch he saw and wins against Ronald Acuna Jr. 10 to 9. He is the fourth and final qualifier for the Fab Four tournament, joining Mickey Mantle, Andre Dawson, and Cal Ripken Jr. The next time you'll see us will be in the Fab Four tournament semifinal round from Old Yankee Stadium, where the winners from that will face in the finals 
at New Yankee Stadium. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you then. Take care.